<laughs> so this is not in good condition. <laughs> 61 damage, 61 rust. Holy mother of God. Look at all that. That is elaborate. Just to get this thing this long and transfer power to the rear wheel still. I highly doubt much is going to be like 100%. So we got to kind of come up with what's like our cutoff right now. How good a quality do we want this vehicle to be in? This is cool though, this is gonna be like the most we've deep we've gone into some of these vehicles. Taking off the whole hub assembly here. Right down to the skivvies. Alright, so I think we got the exhaust out. At least on the right side here. We're gonna we're gonna piece by piece go through this thing. I don't know if we'll get through all of it today. Should we take a look at that piece too? I guess we might as well. I'm gonna definitely take a look at some of the obvious parts that are not doing too hot in the back here. Hopefully I can figure out how all this goes back together. Otherwise, we're in trouble. <laughs> Just tossing these parts. If they weren't damaged, they are now. So it seems like the whole car is 61% damaged. I was kind of hoping different parts would actually show... Okay, there we go. That's 100% damaged at least. That's, that's different. Unless that was from the old vehicle. That was from the old vehicle. It was from the job that we just did. So yeah, it seems like everything on this thing is just going to be 61%. As odd as that sounds. Do we have a bench that we can, like, fix parts on? I can't remember. Oh, here we go. Workbench. Okay, we can, we can fix or attempt to fix parts. So we will do that in a second. I'm just going to uh, take off everything that I'm planning on attacking right now. I wanted to go for the suspension and stuff, but um, I haven't quite figured out how to get at that yet. Maybe we should try though, because otherwise we're going to have to take off probably a bunch of this stuff just to get at it in the future. Oh, there we go. Now that I've taken both sides off, I can actually access the suspension and stuff. There we go. Oh, drop my, drop my tool. Hold on. Slippery tool. Not my fault. Someone greased it up. Forgot to do the other end of this rear rear axle. <laughs> I don't, the rear end of the rear axle? I don't know. I don't know how to... This is too much, all this. I kind of prefer, at the moment at least, the way that this is versus the way that, you know, Car Mechanic Simulator is. Not, not saying anything bad against Car Mechanic Simulator. Not saying that this game is better. I just like these little, like, nuances that they got going on. Where you gotta really manually do everything versus just kinda click, hold, click, click, hold, click, click, hold, click, click, hold, click, click, hold, click. You know? Like the tire machine and stuff? Well done. Way better than Car Mechanic Simulators. Sorry. The game, maybe not better, but the, that was way better. You could take some notes, Car Mechanic Simulator. That's all I'm trying to say. That's all I'm trying to say. So we got uh, 61 damage on everything. And I guess we'll see if we can repair this stuff okay okay so you get a certain amount of attempts certain percentage that it'll be repaired and a certain price to repair it question is i guess then how much money do these parts cost to replace and that kind of <gasps> well we're doing it all right Fully repaired. I'm not sure if that cost me 200 and something each time or if that just cost me 200 for the whole attempt. It was like $200 or something like that. But, uh, we fixed it. <laughs> I've never done that before. That was incredibly, I was focused and silent the entire time. You could hear a pin drop. So I guess what the question would be then is, so we're looking at shock absorbers here. It's 304 to buy a brand new one. So you're saving a bit of money if you can successfully repair the part. Now, if you want to go for a larger lift or maybe a better shock, I don't know what the difference is between reinforced and Titan and golden, etc., etc. So this is actually, I believe, the shock that we're working with, eight inch tight, which is actually a $1,000 shock 
versus versus the eight inch steel. Now the difference, I guess, would be oh, okay. I guess the difference would be in here. So suspension two, traction two, versus wow. So definitely worth the couple hundred bucks to try to repair these parts if they're gonna be a thousand dollars a piece. So I guess I can just sit here and keep doing this, try to repair everything. Ooh, got a perfect in there. And uh, anything I can repair, I will repair and hopefully save some money. Now, if you are planning on replacing the part, like I said, then I guess it's not really worth trying to fix. Fully repaired. I guess if you're, you're not like leaving it up to chance, which I kind of like, it's actually, I mean, not that this takes a lot of skill, but it's actually a skill based repair mechanism where if you mess up, you mess up. See, I could get greedy and go for the green there and I could potentially miss the good bar altogether. And then you could really mess up and not get the repair. So I like it. I really like the way this system is working right now. And uh, it's gonna be a bit more time consuming, but it's gonna save me a ton of money in the long haul. I can only imagine one of these are expensive. And uh, for $300, I got a chance to repair it. Now I wonder, see these are all 61% damage. So they all have roughly the same bar. If a part is a certain percent damage, maybe it's not repairable at all. And furthermore, maybe that bar that you have to hit gets harder to hit. Maybe the speed goes up, maybe the bar gets smaller. I don't know. We got to actually attach the top parts of this before we can hang the axle from it which actually makes a lot of sense. Like this game actually is pretty well thought out from a mechanical standpoint, at least, I believe. I could be incredibly wrong because I'm not a mechanic. You do notice things here and there on other games that aren't quite so realistic if you're actually putting the car back together. I kind of like when you get gated like that and you have to put certain things on first. Otherwise, what's holding it up? Is it just floating in midair? Definitely seen some floating parts in uh, other games. Look at that. Brand spanking. Well, I mean, not brand spanking. Repaired to good as new. So I think when you only land a good and not a perfect, I could be wrong about this, you don't get a guarantee. that Because I hear a weird noise sometimes when I only land the good, and I think that's it not repairing much or not repairing at all. So you only get so many attempts in one attempt. And if you don't fully repair it, it might take more damage. It might be unrepairable. Well, I guess you get five attempts total. I don't know how it works. I have no idea. And I don't want to find out. I don't want to find out how hard it is or how... I don't want to... I don't, no, I'm good. What would be nice if there was an easier way to carry all of these parts over. So I could just sit by the bench, fix everything, and then you know, wheelbarrow the parts back or something. I don't know. I guess in an actual shop, you'd probably carry these parts over one by one. So, well, technically, actually, you'd have two hands in real life. In video games, for some reason, you appear to only have one hand. You can only pick up one item at a time and you got to carry it with both hands ever so carefully. I imagine if it's only $9 to try and repair it, the part probably isn't that expensive to begin with. Oh, it still has rust though. So if we want the part to be completely clean, we actually have to sandblast it, I guess. I feel like a freaking hamster, so I don't even know what kind of animal this would be. A dog? Yeah, I feel like a dog playing fetch right now. Just running back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Oh my god. We going show quality or are we just going like daily usable? You know, that's that's where, the, that's where the questions lie. Eventually, after I have my fun in this, we'll probably give it away or something. Put a paint job on it, maybe a couple of upgrades, and be like, here you go, it's a new truck that we're giving away. <laughs> I don't even know if we can take the rust off of any of this stuff, but I've loaded it all up into here. It's all fixed and ready to go the entire rear end, you know, besides body and stuff. And maybe frame, can you take... Can you fix the frame? Probably not. I feel like the frame is is the frame. I could be wrong, but um, this is not a complete frame-off restoration. All right there, butts. All right, over to sandblasting. 
can tell because there's a bunch of sand here. It looks like the beach. It looks like we got like a freaking army tent on the beach. Actually, no, no army uses bright blue tents. I take that back. So, can we actually... Oh. Would you look at that? Do we have to start it up or anything? Hold E to release the valve and fill the tank. Is it full? Oh yeah, it's full. I think I just spent money on nothing there. I saw my money go down a couple times and... How do we know if it's rust free? Still 61% rust. Okay. So I don't think these parts can be sandblasted. <laughs> I'm just going out on a limb here. I mean, it's weird that you can put it in, but then you can't actually blast it. But yeah, they don't seem to be losing any rust. So they're 61% rust. They're used parts, but they work now. And that's all that matters. Looks like we're going for daily driver truck, not show truck after all. Should we do the front end? I mean, the front end has a lot more to it. Is engine a thing in this? I don't think so. I feel like engine is not something that we deal with. Let's check the parts shop. Oh no, we do have engine parts. Just engine mount, injector, turbo, radiator, CPU. That's it. We just, we just buy the whole engine. Engines are all one piece to us. So, brand, or not brand, fully functioning shocks <laughs> and leaf springs going back on. It's a lot of work to not actually be a new part and still be kind of rusty, you know? Just me. Guess it wasn't that much work, and it was cheap. It was real cheap. Maybe if we do all this, though, we can actually just go take it for a drive. I mean, the guy did say... That it's actually fine. And it does drive in the condition that it is. 61% I would say it probably does drive. But for me to take off every part and fix it is not going to be a quick process. Especially when I just drop things on the ground like that. Freshly fixed rotor. Tosses it across the shop onto the cement. Alright and now we just gotta, I mean, we don't probably don't actually have to. I wonder if the car will run because in... Car Mechanic Simulator, if you don't put all the parts back on, you, you can't go anywhere. You can't run the car. But, it should be, if you don't put vital parts back on, you can. Maybe the car runs loud, maybe it runs poorly, but I can run a car without a muffler or exhaust at all. Let me straight pipe my truck, alright? Don't judge me. I'm also kind of curious to see what it drives like at 61%. Like, does the car actually drive different, or is it just, like, a fake number? 32-inch wheels. Yes, please. Hopefully, we can actually get some, some tires that support that. 40-inch... Oh, no, wait, sorry. 19, 32, there we go. So we could get these puppies. Oh, my, those rims are definitely big, huh? We got to rock uh, rubber bands now. <laughs> we went a little large on the rim. That's okay. Adventure 40 inch or the 40L 40 inch. All right, so we're going to wait for those to show up. And uh, in the meantime, what is this for? A sterling. Is that what we got? Do we end up getting a sterling? I don't think so. Maybe. Ah, uh, different cab length. So we did get a Sterling, I think, but uh, we got the big boy. Extended cab, extended bed, all the bells, all the whistles. Oh, we can actually track our delivery. Look at that, the little boxes over there just kind of racing towards the finish line. We're coming, we're coming. Oh, cool, we can actually buy um, higher quality impact wrenches. They're pretty cheap too, considering $500. Like, why wouldn't I get that? I mean, let's get the ultimate. I want to see how fast this thing is. I'll spend 500 bucks for that. Do I have to wait for it to come too, or is it already... <gasps> You've been replaced. Wait, let's make sure it's got a full charge. Oh yeah, it's ready to go. You've been replaced, old impact. Where are you? You don't even get to charge. No, okay, you can charge. Here you go. All right, so, um... Whoa. 
That was insane. We just got to witness greatness. I haven't driven anything in this game yet, and um, I would like to do that before we end the episode in my brand new six door. <laughs> now all we need is the extra axle. How do we get the triple axle going? I don't know what it is, but I'm enjoying rolling tires lately. <laughs> My summer car, I'm just rolling tires down the hill. Now I'm just throwing tires around the shop and rolling them. It's called efficiency, people. You should, you should appreciate it. That's also why I didn't fix the front end or any other parts of my car yet. Efficiency. I want to drive it first. Efficiency. Not laziness. No, 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 no. Efficiency. Oh, that's not... There we go. <laughs> Oh, I feel like this is the kind of truck that should have the sporty wheels on it, not the off-road wheels, but, um, whatever. <laughs> whatever. I'm down to go off-roading on rubber bands. I didn't really think this through when I bought the 32-inch wheels, but it's fine. I thought things through when I bought this. You ready? Ooh, it's so quick. I really was expecting more noise, like, just like a... Like, just, you know, something just... Get your heart jumping a little bit, but it's just kind of the same noise, but faster. The noise isn't even faster. It just doesn't last as long. Just like instead of you know, you know, you know what I mean? I'm good at sound effects. I know I make incredible, accurate sound effects. I'm like that guy on AGT right now. Did I do any of these wheels with a star pattern or or did I just make some car guy absolutely cringe? In the comments that guy's sitting there like this guy knows nothing about cars he didn't even star pattern his wheels well my question to you is sir do you know why you're supposed to star pattern the wheels because i do i'll wait i'll wait you figure it out google it send me the wiki link that you used all right let's see what do we want here playground is that a good place to go for a cruise the vehicle has missing parts oh because the this mount piece is missing. I can't race it. Really? Or drive it at all, for that matter? Is the junkyard open? All right, let's see if the junkyard has my part. Ooh, those are nice wheels. Are they in good shape? How do we know? I might add those to cart. I kind of like those. This wheel doesn't look like it's in good shape. How do I see the sh Oh, there we go. 28% damage. I didn't see the damage on the other wheel. Probably should have paid attention before I just started adding it to my cart. But uh, that's how I shop usually when I add things to cart. Just kind of, oh, click, 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 click. Oh, what the heck is this? Modern long regular roof track for the s roof rack for the Sterling. See, this one says long again, but then it also says regular. So I don't know if that's going to fit on my car or not, but we're going to go for it anyway. It's a good thing the part that I'm looking for is so large and easy to find. Not. I might just be getting carried away with buying stuff right now, but like, I got the fever, you know? I got that itch to just buy things. I can't find the part that I'm actually looking. Oh, oh, Art and Sterling, right side light frame. Oof, it's real rusty, but it's cheap. And, and it'll do the job for now. Just when I was about to call it a day. What is this? Injectors for any vehicle. Add that too. I'm going to have to repair the engine at some point here. Alright, I think I'm... Uh, I think I'm ready to check out. A couple grand later. Jesus! What is happening? Hey! Stop! You're ruining my stuff! God damn! Drop outs. Well, what, what is this then? Supply area. Take your stuff. Jeez, you couldn't just neatly organize it in here for me? It's kind of rude. I spent good money here. $2,000 at your junkyard of junk. You're lucky. You should be grateful that Diesel Dave himself graced you with his presence and gave you his hard-earned cashish. 
Oh my god, it kicked me out. <laughs> that was weird timing. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I guess he didn't like getting spat on, huh? The standard long fits. So therefore, this definitely fits. Oh, yes. That is a big boy roof rack if I've ever seen one. And now we got these tips too. We just got to go repair this stuff. We made out pretty good. That was actually pretty fun. Hunting for all that stuff and finding it and being like, Ooh, I could, I could throw this on my car. I could throw that on my car. This thing's in pretty good shape too. 50 bucks total and we got ourselves a couple of... Oh no, not total because we... We gotta factor in how much we paid for the parts, right? Can't remember how much these were, but definitely cheaper than buying them. And uh, they're just an accessory at the end of the day, not really uh, a part that we need. So it wouldn't necessarily be something I would buy full price. But I'll buy it like this. Zero rust, zero damage. Zero rust on this as well. Just got to uh, fix the damage part. The old owner was uh, a little bit wild, you know, liked to throw things up into his roof rack carelessly. It's all right. I'm not judging. Although, where'd my nice 500 impact go? This is a large roof rack. Holy crap. You could fit at least half a dozen dead bodies up there. At least. And we found this part. Nice. That... That was a bonus. Does it need to be f attached? No. Happy just the way you are, huh? All right, no wonder you lost it. It doesn't even attach. And uh, yeah, we should now be able to actually go to the playground. Drag race? Playground. Drag, play, dra play, dra drag race. Let's do it. Oh, it's locked. All right, we'll go to the playground. The vehicle has missing parts. It does? Guy who sold me this lied. He said that was the only missing part. I forgot to bolt in this end of the uh, exhaust because I was going to actually consider taking off the rest of it. That's why. But um, now the vehicle is in operate area. <sighs> this is just ridiculous. <laughs> you can't race a vehicle that's on a lift. That's preposterous. I'm not even trying to race it either. I'm just trying to go to the playground. I'm just trying to have some fun in my new vehicle that I spent 60 plus thousand dollars on. All right. Now, now that it's outside, available. Yes. <laughs> it was so easy. <laughs> I mean, the engine noises are a little bit, a little bit rough, but um, here we are at the diesel playground in our brand new Extendo cab six door beast. You know what? It doesn't sound so bad as soon as it gets revving and stuff. It's just not great f when it's standing still, that's all. So I don't know if us driving around like this does damage or if we take a jump, if that will do damage to our vehicle or not. Turbo? What the hell? NOS engaged. Oh, we do get a first-person camera, too. That's not so bad. Let's go jump the Ring of Fire in first person. Not quite sure how we line that up. Maybe right here. I jumped through the burning Ring of Fire. Oh, God! Went a little bit nose-first on that one, but that's okay. We're fine. Let's see how she drifts. Okay, it was more of a handbrake turn than a drift, but I can approve. Let's get up to the, the bridge. Reach! It's very quiet in here. The noise dampening is, is very well done. I must say. Impressive. Oh god, don't roll it. Whatever you do. I like this. I approve. I wish I could do the drag racing and stuff. But... This is good enough for... Oh. What did we hit? I don't think we made that jump very well. I am curious to know, though, if this actually damages the vehicle um, or the parts that we just freshly repaired. Come on, burning ring of fire. We don't have a ton of speed. The double... 
<laughs> oh man. It's ridiculous, but I love it. Oh no! Disaster! That that if if anything is gonna do some damage, that probably did. Well, we're really making sure that we do damage now. <laughs> the crunching. Like the brakes. The brakes will probably be toast if, if anything. Or not toast, but used if anything. 1% damage. So it did actually uh, um, use a bit. You will actually have to uh, replace things as you use your vehicle. The wheels are 0% damage still, but the, the brakes actually did get used a tiny bit. And that's also interesting to note that things might be used at different rates then. Because if the brakes are 1% but the wheels are 0%, then maybe everything won't just be 61% like I bought it, which is incredibly weird. 